Woo! Back in Mother Base, baby. Uh, today we'll be looking at uh, my top five favorite like art books. Um, and when I say art books, I don't mean art books like art books that have a collection of an artist's work. I mean books that are going to be helpful to artists. You get me? So I broke these books down into three categories. Literature, textbooks, and actual art books, like <laughs> collection of artists' work. Uh, now allow me to elaborate um, on the three different categories. Uh, textbooks are about like a s even split between like, you know, images, uh, diagrams and text. Uh, literature is like 90 to 100% text. Art books, 90% images <laughs> and like 10% text. I mean, I, you know, I figured it's self-explanatory, but you know, it doesn't hurt to like elaborate on that. I've numbered this list from order of least helpful to most helpful. And with that being said, this is just a top list of like my top five favorite art books that I have out of like the 20 that I own. I have some more, they're just off camera somewhere. Also another disclaimer, um, I'm a digital illustrator and animator. So these books are gonna be particularly more helpful if you're coming from where I come from. Now, right out the gate, uh, let's start with some honorable mentions. Um, these are books that I haven't quite finished yet or that I like, but didn't quite make the cut. All right, first up is right here. Starting Point by Hayao Miyazaki. It's basically autobio autobiographical essays uh, from the man himself, the creator of Studio Ghibli. They go from like the late 70s all the way to the mid 90s. What more, what more can you say than that? Um, you can get on Amazon for like 12 bucks, I think. That's where I got it. All right, and then after that, we got the Graphic Artists Guild Handbook Pricing and Ethical Guidelines. Now, this book is very dry. It's just, you open it up, it's just text, on text, on text, on text. But it's very helpful because it's basically a very detailed handbook that's crucial for freelancers. It has lists of example contracts and industry standard rates for professionals. This is also available on Amazon, so if that, you know, rings your ears, go check it out. Okay, now let's get into it. Number five is a literature book. It's quite popular, and for good reason. Uh, it's Steal Like an Artist by Austin Cleon. Uh, it's a very short read, like, it's like 150 pages, but the pages are, they look like this, you know? <laughs> this like I, I when I read it I finished it in about an hour or so um, you know it reminds you that creativity you know can seem kind of daunting um, but it's just it, it reminds you that creativity is just combining your influences and it's not as scary or hard as you make it out to be sometimes it's encouraging it's validating uh, but most of all it's inspiring number four is an actual art book <laughs> it's from a recent uh, favorite of mine uh, it's the art of turning red absolutely Adorable, beautiful book. Um, you know, I love seeing the sketches of uh, May's character as she was in development. Uh, designs of her that didn't quite make the final cut. Uh, that reminds me, um, you know, if, if you know like a favorite movie or TV show of yours, you know, it's one thing to study, you know, the promo art for it or like stills, but it's another thing to like actually go behind the scenes and see what the crew was, you know, the creative crew were thinking of and their thought process behind it. It's very helpful. Number three is more literature. It's Your Career in Animation by David B. Levy. It's being puppy cat on there. It's quite topical, I just got on Netflix. Um, I read this book my first year out of college, feeling sad, angry, because <laughs> I still didn't have a job in my field yet. Um, but this book reminds you, hey, you know, that's part of this industry. It doesn't sugarcoat it. Uh, you know, this career is for scrappy people, uh, but we do it because we love it at the end of the day. Um, it has chapters dedicated to networking, going indie, pitching, all that stuff. Uh, and I love that this book has like direct quotes from people within the industry. and also has some helpful lists of industry events and festivals for networking, all that good stuff. All right, number two is a textbook. It's an anatomy book. It's Morpho by Michel Loricera. This book is compact. Uh, I mean, just look at it. It can like easily fit in a backpack, but it's powerful. This book has so many anatomy illustrations. I'm talking like two to three per page. Yeah, when I'm drawing and I have some questions about anatomy, 
I always just, I always go to this book. It, it's very helpful. All right, and then finally, number one. Um, number one is gonna be the Animator Survival Kit by Richard Williams. This is all reliable for me. <laughs> I bought this back in college uh, for a class and I still consult with it every time I'm making like a short film or anything like that. If I need help with like walk cycles or like in-betweens or timing or arcs or anything like that, this book has it all. It's written by the legendary Richard Williams. Uh, this guy was insane. He would animate on ones like it was nothing. Yeah, it does have some kind of dated opinions on a couple of things. I thought it was weird about how he was very particular about working, but I mean, if you're comfortable, if you know how you work, if you know your, your you know, optimal conditions, you can just ignore <laughs> that. And that'll do it. Um, you know, I was really looking forward to working on this video. Um, I Hopefully it was helpful to, you know, someone out there. Um, most of these books are, if not all of these books, are available on Amazon. But if you can, please support your local bookstores. May I recommend bookshop.org? Yeah, prices are going to be higher. Availability is going to be a little bit more tougher, but I mean, at least, you know, that's money going into like small businesses pockets, you know? But yeah, thanks for watching everyone and uh, see you all in about two weeks. All right.